In this AI agent tutorial, I want to show you how to create a lead scraper with Autogen. So first, let's run. A, let's gonna run what we actually have, so you see what is happening and how it's working. So we are using the GPT-40 mini model, and um, of course, you can use whatever model you want to use. And what we're gonna scrape is a website called um, derfriseurfreiberg.de, which is a German website. And then we get the following results after scraping the website. We get the decision maker, which is Janine Köhler. We have the phone number of the, of the website, the email address, um, the absolute impression URL, the company industry, um, the absolute contact URL, um, the company's products, and we have a content summary points. Um, yeah. So basically pretty valuable um, information if you want to create um, a marketing campaign and you need some new leads. So before we jump into the code, I just want to go for a quick glance at um, the Autogen repository, which we have here. And yes, it has 43,000 stars. So it's a very popular uh, repository this Autogen framework, um, it is well maintained. Last change was yesterday as up to like, um, it has almost 500 contributors. Um, it's from Microsoft, uh, it's totally open source and yes. So it is a, Autogen is a framework for creating multi-agent AI applications that can act autonomously or work alongside humans. Exactly. So. The installation is pretty straightforward. What you really have to see um, that you use a Python version, not the newest Python versions and not a very old Python version. So I would, I use, I, I recommend that you use Python 3.11. Um, it has a documentation um, you find, but well, now one thing which is important to say for Autogen is that it has kind of three projects, which can be quite confusing. And in this demonstration, we are using agent chat API. So, um, the documentation, um, we have, if you go to the documentation, um, it is well structured, but still can be confusing because there, yeah, it's you, you get a feeling that it's quite Microsoft like. So what I recommend you is actually go here. I will put those links in the description below. And um, basically it's like clicking here on agents because here um, you have a very good overview what is possible and what you can use. And for starting, it's I would say it's basically most of the things that you actually really need. So you it's gonna split describing how you create an agent, um, how you get the response, how you can actually use a modal model input like Im images, then how you can stream messages if you want that your users get the messages right away and does not have to wait till the last token is rendered. And um, then it's describing how you can use tools, which is very useful and which, which we're using, uh, what we're doing in this example too. Um, then more tools then how to use MCP, which is very common and uh, very popular right now. Um, and my next videos will probably in, um, include also some MCP tutorials, how to use LangChain tools, which are like a, a preset of already defined tools, like um, search the web, things like that. And how to do parallel two calls, how to run in a loop and very important, is how to use structured output and more for the more about that I'm going to tell you soon. Okay. So basically, um, I think we can now jump back into the code. Um, and we actually gonna run it. Oh, actually, no, I just gonna explain it to you how we can how you create a lead scraper with um, Autogen and what you have to take care of. So basically, um, we have those um, standard imports. 
um, which is which are here. So you import like the assistant agent, the open chat completion. We're using open and I in this example and the round robin group chat, which is like how these agents are interacting. So very important and is to, to get structured output, we are using Pydentic. Pydentic is perfect, is actually uh, exactly for that. Uh, where's the import? Pydentic, exactly. We're using the Pydentic base model. And this is what we basically do here. So you saw the output um, we were getting is in exactly the same format as you see, as you see here. Sorry. So um, we have the decision maker name, the phone number, etc., 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 etc. And here you define um, exactly how you want it to have uh, in which kind of format. So important for the company products, we want to have a list, not only a single item, and it should be well structured. So it's not just comma separated, it's like really um, a JSON list. Same for the content summary. Good, then we use the Scrape website tool. Um, this is basically only, um, well, this code you can ignore a little bit. We, you can just simplify it and, and uh, you just use this part. I use this part too, because I was, I'm doing some agent benchmarks. I will create some videos about those too. Uh, AI agent framework benchmarks. And so I use this because then I'm using a server instead of um, a local version. But for this example, we were using a local version of um, crawl for ai And crawl for ai is, I show you how it is. It's in this case, it's very simple code. So you basically, um, we're gonna import crawl for ai I show you how, what it is and how to use it actually. And it's very simple. We just do crawler run and you pass this URL and then you get um, the answer in markdown format, which is perfect for LLMs to read. So we're gonna close this. I just give you a quick overview what, what crawl for ai is. It's an open source program, very popular too. Very good, very maintained too. And actually it's like an LLM friendly web crawler. And this is basically already saying everything. Um, this is a web crawler made exactly for LLMs. So LLMs understand the, the structure of the website and can find what they are supposed to find. Yeah, it's a very interesting project, very nice project. Um, they even have their own Docker container and the Docker hub. So very easy to deploy to. Um, yeah, definitely check it out. And then, okay, let's jump in back into the code. So this was actually scraping the website, um, the, the tool call. So now we actually can jump into the code as pretty much everything is explained. Here we just do some definitions. We take like the domain URL, which we need for crawling the websites. I mean, to know which, why, which websites we wanna crawl. Um, then we parse the the response to JSON, this is not that much important. Um, and here it starts basically. Um, what is important when you use, um, okay, um, what is a little bit, can be a little bit confusing in an um, autogene is that you have to kind of define the model at the beginning. So for each model you want to use, you have to define this model and response format. And in this case, in this case, it's the website information, and this is quite distinguished to Crew AI. Okay. So then, um, and another thing is, you cannot just kind of you cannot just import uh, this function. Um, you have to kind of create um, a function tool out of it. So if you use custom tools which are not originated from um, Autogene you have to kind of transform, like, well, not really transform them. Like you have to use this function tool and um, define what it's used for. And this is very important. 
if you use um, if you use pydentic models, I don't know why, but uh, in the version at least which I used, um, you have to define the strict equals true. If not, you will get some error messages. You can definitely try without. If it's not working, just put strict to true and then it should work for you. So um, then we have two agents which we are using. And the difference here is um, in Autogen, we only have agents um, and we don't have really, we don't really have tasks in crew. Oh, sorry, my, 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 my bad. You do have tasks, but you have like a main task, like let's say more like a, a main goal, which you put like above everything. So here it's like, find me all necessary website information for this URL. And then you have these two agents that perform the task. So what I did, I splitted the task, which is basically um, a specific workflow. Uh, I'll show you how this workflow looks like. So the workflow is the following. First, we want to crawl the root URL. And then on the root URL, we will extract, um, as already explained, the contact page and the impression page. This we need to find further information because most of the time, or on many websites, you don't have all the contract information on the root page. You have those like on a deeper level, like for example, on the contact level. Or for German pages, most of those information, especially the decision maker, is always on the impression, impression page. If we, then we crawl each of those. And after we crawled each of those pages, we extract the contract, contact information. Um, then we also take the root, um, the information from the root page and merge them together to return the structured JSON. So this is what we're actually going to do. So this agent, the lead scraper assistant um, rule, I could call it agent, would it be maybe better? Yeah, so that one is just crawling the root URL. You are an expert web scraper agent specializing in find the contact information on the root URL. And we give it um, the web search tool and the model. And in the model, we already defined the format we want. So if you want like, if you want different output format for your agents, you have to define another, another model basically. Uh, sorry, where it is here, the model. So here we use the model and here we use the same model, which is totally fine. And again, here we have um, the assistant contact uh, agent, let's say, and you're an expert web scraper agent specializing in, in okay, uh, this is not really, uh, you use the absolute impression rule and the absolute contact URL to find all required contact information, always crawl those websites to gather further information. Probably, I think you can make this shorter because these, if you define these pedantic base models, it's kind of doing magic. It knows, basically already knows exactly what you want. You don't have to add so much more information. Yes. And again, um, we use the same tool. We use the same model. Um, we have this reflect on tool use to put true, so it actually should think about if it's going to use the tool or not. Um, and then we have the overall task, which I already described. We use the round robin chat group and we give it a max turns of two that says each agent is running only two times. Exactly. That's basically it. Ah, one more important thing to say about Autogene, which makes it a little bit more tricky to use, is that it is asynchrone. You have to do these await team run tasks. It can be an advantage. Um, I mean, they put thoughts into it why they want to do it. But for you to notice, this makes the thing a little bit more complex. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed the music. Uh, the, I hope you enjoyed the video. And feel free to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.